Welcome to Shopline Chatbot. Here's how you can grow your business at ease. Shopline Chatbot is here to help you sell more successfully on Facebook. We have tailored the chatbot feature to ensure a seamless experience on the back end for merchants as well as the interface for customers. What makes this chatbot feature different is its convenience and efficiency. It allows you to sell and interact with your customers automatically 24-7. Best of all, Facebook Messenger bot replies instantly, keeping your customers happy and satisfied. With Chatbot, customers are able to shop immediately and receive order status notifications through Facebook Messenger. Let's set it up. Don't worry, we'll go step by step. Step 1. Prepare products for Chatbot. Log in to your Shopline admin and click on Products and Categories, followed by Products. If you haven't already uploaded your products or would like to add more, go ahead and upload or edit your product's name, price, quantity, etc. Step 2. Connect to Facebook. Go to Channel Integration, select Facebook and click Connect. Here's what you will see after connecting to your preferred Facebook page. Don't forget to turn on the order update notification to keep your customers updated on their order and delivery status via Facebook Messenger. Step 3. Set up welcome message. A welcome message is the auto-reply message that your customer receives when they contact you through Facebook Messenger for the first time. In your welcome message, you may include text and emojis. After entering the message, click Save. Step 4. Set up in-chat shopping, Messenger Persistent Menu. When the Persistent Menu is set, your customers will be able to see the menu when they contact you through Facebook Messenger. Start by clicking the plus menu item. You can choose to insert redirection URL or show all product categories. In the persistent menu, you can show all product categories to let your customers shop directly from Facebook Messenger. If you choose show all product categories as your option, don't forget to set up a range of keywords. This way, when customers send you messages using keywords, they can view all your products without visiting your online shop. You can also include URLs that are commonly used, like promotion URL, to allow your customers to find the answers on their own without waiting for your reply. After adding the contents of each menu item, don't forget to click Save. Step 5. Set up Membership Quick Sign-Up Link You can guide your customers to become shop members via the persistent menu. To set up, you will need to obtain the App ID and App Secret from Facebook for a Developers page. You can refer to our Enable Customer to Login with Facebook Account guide to learn how you can set up your Facebook Developer account and obtain App ID and App Secret. Here's where you can find the guide. In the video tutorial description below, from the link in your social comma slides, or from support.shoplineapp.com. After you obtain the App ID and App Secret from Facebook for Developers page, please go to Channel Integration, followed by Facebook. Then, click the Connect button. Once done, paste the App ID and App Secret codes that you got from Facebook for Developers to the corresponding fields. After you finish setting up, please click the Connect button to save the settings. And there you go! Your quick sign-up link is ready. Through this link, shoppers can sign up using their Facebook account directly on their Messenger and start shopping by just clicking on the link. This link can be used as one of the options in Persistent Menu to get shoppers to become your shop members directly from Facebook Messenger. Step 6. 
Set up automated replies, chatbot. Received lots of PMs in your Facebook Messenger about your products? Wondering how you can speed up the message replies? Set up automated replies and let Shopline Chatbot work for you. Click on Customer Management, followed by Chatbot Store. Click on Plus New Script to enter the edit page of a script. On the edit page, you will see two main panels. Left panel shows the overview of the script. See how to call this script section list all the triggers of this script. You can set up a range of keywords to trigger a script. It is suggested to set up the keywords according to your shopper's frequently used sentences and questions. The section below is the step flow of a script. First step followed by attached step. You can then have an overview of the script. The right panel allows you to edit the script. You can add templates and buttons to create more interaction with customers on Facebook Messenger. There are two templates for you to choose from, text template or card template. You can add three templates at most in a single step. In a text template, you can add text messages. To add a template in the script, all you need to do is click the text widget. In a card template, you can upload an image, add title and subtitle. In each template, you can also add action buttons. You can add three buttons at most in a single step. There are three types of action buttons you can choose from. Send message, open website or start another script. When shoppers click on a send message button, they will trigger the messages in the linked step. You can create a new step by clicking create new message. Name the step here. You can also choose to link the button to an existing step from the list below, like payment method and the image above. You can put a URL in a button so that when the shoppers click it, your website will open in the Messenger in-app browser. You can also choose a suitable web view size of the in-app browser according to the website content. There are three options. One, compact 50%. Two, medium 70%. And three, tall 90%. You can also choose to link a button to an existing script so that shoppers can enter into another script for more details about certain information. Before you publish a script, make sure all the error icons are gone. It appears when the required fields are not filled. Once your custom script is ready to go, click the Publish button on the right top corner. Your script will then be able to be triggered on Facebook Messenger with the correct keywords. There will be a status badge, Published, shown next to the Publish button when the script is published successfully. When your script is published, there will be a tool icon next to the script title. Click on the tool icon for options to unpublish or delete. You can unpublish a script and republish it as you please. Step 7. Check orders from chatbot. Awesome! You have finished your chatbot admin setup and you are wondering if you can check the orders that come from Messenger chatbot? Absolutely! You can check the orders placed and total sales from your Shopline admin panel. Let's switch roles. Here's what it'll be like for your shoppers. Customers can shop anytime on Facebook Messenger by clicking on the bottom right menu button or by typing in keywords. To purchase, all they need to do is click Shop Now and add the item to cart. They can continue shopping by clicking on the top right menu button in your web store to view all categories and add more items to their shopping cart. After customers click on checkout, they will be redirected to the checkout page to complete their purchase. 
Your customers can choose to receive order status updates through Facebook Messenger. Here is the best part. They can ask you questions in Messenger and Shopline Chatbot will automatically reply to the messages for you when the chatbot system detects the keywords. This is according to the chatbot script you set in the Shopline admin panel. Grow your online sales with Shopline Chatbot today.